Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to break down more Japanese vocabulary and grammar from this fine manga over here called Yutsuba. And from where we were last leaving off, this is Fuka spoiling thoroughly Asagi's joke and getting her shop come up in. <laughs> so here's our first page to translate. She's like, Ita, Ita, it hurts. Why did you hit me? <laughs> As I'm going along, I'm going to be posting on the notes below me. So all those have nice definitions if you need any more clarity of what any of these words mean. But if you ever do have any questions, if anything doesn't make sense to you, please do feel free to ask below in the comments and I will try to assist you. <laughs> so here we have her in utter agony. So Ita, these are all just Itai. And she's just stopping at different marks with a tiny tzu. So Ita, Ita. <laughs> it's just like a space right here is what that is designating. And <laughs> she's like, meh. She's all, nande, ii koto itta no ni. <laughs> so this nande is like, why did you do this? Why? <laughs> and then e is good, koto is a thing, so good thing. Then itta is the past form of iu, which is to say. That is a godan u ending verb, so there would be an u right here, and it's swapped out with this tanitsu and this ta. So u becomes ita, which is said. So I said something good. And then no ni is like, despite although. It's like, even though I said something good, you hit me. Why would you do that? <laughs> she replies, Nanka mukatsuku no yo. <laughs> So nanka is like something or somehow. Wukatsuku <laughs> is to feel irritated or offended or angry. And this is in katakana for emphasis. As you may notice, we have kanji are these big tricky ones. Hiragana are these little easier ones. And right here, this is in katakana. You can kind of tell because they're a little bit more stiff, more angular than their hiragana buddies. And katakana is mostly used for loan words, but it can also be used for emphasis, kind of like making things bold in English. So she's really pissed off. <laughs> and then no is adding the explanatory tone and yo is adding emphasis. So like it's a fact that I am mad because <laughs> it somehow pissed me off when you wouldn't over explain my joke. Nani yo mo. So nani is what? Yo more emphasis like what? Why? And then mo, this here is the mo used for exasperation. So it's like, good grief. Ugh, why me? <laughs> and this goron, 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 goron. She is rolling on the floor <laughs> in agony. It's like, oh, she notices something. Oh no, eye contacts. So she's inspecting these CDs. So she's asking, Como CD? Kakete-i. So kono is this, what's in her hand, and CD is what it is, like a cassette disc or whatever, it's just a loan word for CD. And then kakete is the te form of kakeru, which means a lot of things, but among those things, it means to put on like a DVD, a song, a CD in this case, and that is an ichiran, do verb, so there would usually be a do here, but it is being swapped out for this te which is linking it to E, which is good. So like, is it good if I put on this CD? So it says like, can I play this CD? And then we have CD wa tsukaeru no yo. And this is referring to the DVR, which we're gonna look at in a minute. So like, as for that, CD wa, wa makes CDs the topic. And then tsukaeru is like to be able to use or to be usable. So CDs are usable, and then no is adding explanatory, and yo is adding emphasis. So like, oh, I can use it over in this machine over here. Saki so replies with e yo otosan no dakara. So e is good, yo for emphasis. Otosan is dad. Oh, here is honorific, and we're using the san suffix as well. But this is like a pretty polite way to talk about your dad, like father, you could translate it as. And then no is saying like it's possessive, 
and also kind of standing in for a generic noun. So like it is his thing. And then dakara is therefore. So it's like, it's fine because it's his. <laughs> and I guess he's not even here, so might as well. So here she is, she's popping it in. And she's talking about these little confections that she brought back from Okinawa. And she's been complaining a lot that they did not taste very good. <laughs> so next he's saying, Kore chin shita hou ga oishi kamo. Kamo. So kore is this. And chin <laughs> This is so cute. Um, chin is the noise that a microwave makes when it's done. It's like ding ding ding. It's over. Your food is ready. So that's actually kind of turned into a verb. <laughs> But it's a sudo verb because we have sudo after that, and this sudo means to do, so that would be to do microwaving. <laughs> and this is also sudo in its past form, which is shita, and sudo is an irregular verb, so you just have to memorize that. But there's only a few of those in Japanese, so don't worry too much about those irregulars. So this is like, if I did microwaving. <laughs> And ho is like the direction or the way. So the way of doing microwaving. <laughs> so like the way of microwaving, if I microwave this. <laughs> and then ga makes that our subject. And then oishi is tasty. And then kamo is maybe. So maybe if I microwave it, it will become tasty. Oh. <laughs> so she's going on here. So, ja is like, well then, shoto a little bit. And this yattekuru, this is the teikuru form of yaru, which is to do. That's a bit more casual way of saying sudu, but they essentially have the same meaning, except this is a goda nu verb. So when we make this into its te form, the do tag would be here, swaps out to a tendency to te, and then you just put on kuru at the end. And then kuru is to go and this has the nuance of you're gonna go and come back so i'm gonna do that and come back and then wa is adding emphasis so it's like i'm gonna go and microwave this i'll be right back <laughs> she's really rocking out to this music over here she's like eh okinawa boy had this before okinawa is a place in japan it's a little island sounds nice and then poi whenever you add that at the end of something it means ish or like so okinawa ish okinawa like okinawan this has a very okinawa vibe to it oh she's so happy about that yay <laughs> and we have like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Bosun, she's just plopping down on this couch she's enjoying that music so and is wondering kore nante gaki so kore is this being of the song and then nante is just like what questioning and then gaki is a musical instrument so it's like what kind of instrument is going on here sanshin te yu no yo so sanshin is an okinawan traditional three string instrument which is, I guess, the precursor to the shamisen, which you may know about. And then te is the casual quoting particle, so like, just air quotes. I like to think of that as air quotes. It's like, about the shamisen. And then you, this is a casual form of you, which is to say or to call. So it's called sanshin. And then no is adding an explanatory tone because she is explaining something here that works. And then yo for emphasis. We never have enough emphasis. And yeah, everyone's just chilling, reading a little book, enjoying a little kohi. Then sheen, oh yeah, microwave's done, yes, yes, magical, magical sound. <laughs> ah, solda! So, so, this um little line is standing in for an oo. <laughs> so, it'll be so, which means like, oh, that's right. And then da is declarative, so like, oh, she just thought of something, that's right, yeah. I'm scared about what she thought about. <laughs> so she's going up to get something. This can't be a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> He's the cutest little blob right here. Aw, oh, best blob. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just saw that. So bad. So cute. Oh no, what's she doing? She's going up to her room, getting something. These guys totally unaware. She's going, Dene? 
イルカに座っていいのよ。So, でね is like, and then, it's short for それでね。And then, イルカ means dolphin. And then, ni is showing them the direction, they're the goal. She's doing something towards these dolphins. She is so what in them. <laughs> So, s a w a t t a is the past form of sawaru, which is to touch. And that is a go down do ending verb. So, to make that to its past form, there would be a do here. But it swapped out with this tendency on a ta. So, sawaru becomes our s a w a t t a So, I touched a dolphin. Ooh. Again, explanatory no, exclamatory yo. It's like, oh, biku, it's so surprising. Eh? Oh, you did? Next, we have. ホテルのプログラムだね。So, ホテル is hotel. That's English loan word. And then no links that to プログラム another loan word for just program. So it was like a program from the hotel. で is shown like through. So I did it through the hotel's program. And then ne here is just really emphasis. Yeah, so great. Just part of my hotel. And then oh no. Bidding, bidding, what could this possibly be? No, bim bim bim. <laughs> She's decided to enjoy the music a little bit too much. <laughs> We will have to see how this develops next time. Oh no, how are they gonna react? They're gonna say, oh, psycho, that's the best playing ever. Probably not. <laughs> To find out, you'll have to go back next time because I am going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed, had fun, hopefully, maybe learned something. And if you did, please leave a like and a subscribe so I can see you in the next video. Matane! <laughs>